Hello and welcome to my music studio. My name is Elizabeth Knob and I teach viola, violin, and piano lessons. Although I teach mostly online, this is the studio where I teach from and I wanted to share it with you today and just talk a bit about what it's like to be a student in my music studio. If you're new here, I run the blog lifefromtheviolasection.com where I share my favorite practice tips, general advice, and tech for musicians. I'd love for you to check out my blog and if you're on my website, I'd love for you to check out my YouTube channel as well. And if you're on my YouTube channel, I'd love for you to check out my website. <laughs> I'm a classically trained violist, but I've been playing piano for 20 years, violin for 16 years, and viola for 13 years. I've been teaching for four years and I absolutely love it. So one of the reasons why I love online lessons is because we can collaborate from anywhere in the world, which is so exciting. So I'm in Pennsylvania right now and you can be anywhere like on the West Coast or in like Indiana and we can still collaborate and make music together. I currently have students from four different states and a few that I've never met in person, but it's been such a joy to work with them and get to know them through this online music making. It's so exciting and we're still able to get so much done and they are learning so much and making just a great amount of progress. I'm so excited. Students in my studio have one lesson weekly, whether that's 30 minutes, 45 minutes, or an hour long lesson. We can do either of the three depending on your, you or your child's level of music playing or their age. 30 minutes is usually best for beginners and younger children. 45 minutes is great for intermediate or teenagers, and an hour long is good for teenagers and adults who are more of, at more of an advanced level. So that's my basic recommendation for lesson length. And again, we have lessons every single week so that you're making consistent progress. Weekly lessons works really, really well and I have seen progress in all of my students every single week. It's really fantastic. So as a student in my studio, I want you to have fun making music. I think that's a big part of why we want to make music. We want to have fun and we want to connect and communicate with others. So those are really big aspects that we focus on in my studio. I always work with my students one-on-one -on -one to make sure that they are learning music that they enjoy, whether that's movie music, Broadway music, Disney music, anything they love, pop music, and that they're learning that and they're having fun. In addition to their method books and technique and theory, which hopefully they love as well, but I want them to have a good, well-rounded mix. My students explore music from all different cultures, not just Western classical music, so that they can get an idea of how music is used as a form of communication all around the world and what different styles and techniques are used in different areas of the world, which is super exciting and makes us really global citizens, which we are now that so much is online and virtual. We have connections all over the world and it's so exciting. Another thing we do in my studio is we try to act through music. So since music is a form of communication, we have to really act and tell a story when we play. So we talk a lot about stage makeup and how you have to really overemphasize and overact so that the audience can understand what you're really putting across. And we're going to put that into action this fall at our studio Halloween recital, where students are going to dress up and play music that they love that relates to their costume and really act out that music and get the audience to feel like they're watching a movie or seeing a musical or going to a pop concert, something exciting like that. We're really going to act through our music and give the audience a really, really great show. It's going to be so much fun. So if you've been considering signing up for lessons, now is the perfect time to do that so that you're ready for the recital in the fall. Summer is a great time to start learning an instrument or continue learning an instrument because kids don't have the time commitment of school. So they might be busy with summer camps and all of that, but they have a little more time to dedicate to learning an instrument and having a lot of fun that way. So we've talked a bit about what it's like to be part of my studio, but let's take a little tour of the studio so you know what's going on in the background. <laughs> so this is what my teaching area looks like. If you'd like a full tour of my online setup, I have a video showing you exactly that on my YouTube channel. So I'll put that in the eye above on YouTube, but if you're on my website, you can just click the little arrow on the right of this video and it'll take you right to that video. So in that video, I show the equipment that I use and all of my Zoom settings. So if you'd like to learn more about online lessons, that's a great video to watch. This is my desk. You might have seen it in the background of a few of my videos if you've been here for a while. So um, I have a laptop stand where I usually keep my laptop, but it's set up for my lessons today. Keyboard, mouse, some sticky notes in a very cute cat holder. Look at how adorable this is. I love it. <laughs> Up on top of my desk, I have a lot of fun things. 
you can tell I really like Disney. I got this alien necklace at Disney World. It lights up. A bunch of different fun ways. So you might see this in the backgrounds of your lessons. So this is kind of the main background of my videos. I have lots of pictures here. And at the bottom, I have lots of books about music. I've got some on chamber music and the Music Lover's Handbook. And over on this side, we have some about the viola, some more about chamber music, and some on teaching. I also have a lot of strings magazines over here, which has given me many great teaching ideas. And if you take lessons with me, you might see this giant instrument in the background. This is my boyfriend's bass. It's huge, but it makes it for a very fun background with all of my pictures and books. And here, the star of the show, we have my keyboard, which I teach piano lessons on, and sometimes just a few quick melodies for viola and violin lessons. And I keep all of my teaching music that my students are working on right here. So a lot of piano music, some violin music, and the rest is on my iPad. I use my iPad in lessons all the time to write out different rhythms, to show theory concepts, and then and then I also use my iPad to take notes for each student so that everyone knows exactly what they should practice every week. So I have a little Bluetooth keyboard to type with, the notes go in a Google Doc, and I watch my students on my laptop over Zoom. It's a really great setup, and I love how it's working out. So that gives you an idea of what it's like to be part of my music studio. I hope you enjoyed the tour and the overview of what lessons are like. So if you're interested in taking lessons with me, I would love to get to know you and give you a free trial lesson. You can look at my website, elizabethknob.com for all the details. And if you're on my website already, there should be a button right below this video that says book a free trial lesson now. You can use that button to book your free trial lesson and tell me a bit about you or your child's musical background. Or if you would prefer not to book a free trial lesson right away, you can go up to the tab that says contact me and submit a form that just says what you're interested in, what some of your background is, all of those kind of details, and I will get back to you within 48 hours. That form does go straight to my main email address, so you don't have to worry about it not working or anything. It works, it's been tested, it's been used, it works really well. You can also just email me straight away. My email is elizabeth at elizabethknob.com right here on the screen. You can always just email me there, and again, I'll get back to you within 48 hours. I'd love to get to know you and work with you. I would love to have you as a part of my studio. It's going to be such a great experience and the Halloween recital is going to be so much fun. You are not gonna wanna miss it and you definitely want to be part of this studio. If you're new here, I make musical videos every Sunday at noon Eastern time. I post them right here on my YouTube channel, so please subscribe if you'd like to watch those every week. You can also follow me on Instagram at Life from the Viola section. I post there at least three times a week, sometimes a little more, and I post a lot about how I'm practicing, my mindset, and a lot about getting into college as a musician. So if you're interested in those topics, please go follow me over on Instagram at Life from the Viola section. I hope you enjoyed this overview of my studio. I absolutely love teaching, and again, I'd love to have you in my studio. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.